Michael Chiarella is one very busy and very successful chef. He has hosted TV shows on three networks and open restaurants in three states, including his latest, Bottega, up in Napa, California, one of the most beautiful places in the country. And Michael's here today with a really special breakfast. Good morning. Great to see Good you. Good to see you, Harry. And we're seeing you on Top Chef Masters. Masters. Right. Yeah, yeah. Top Chef Old Guys, we call that. <laughs> this is where 24 chefs around the country get together. And part of what we do to start these off are called quick fire. Right. So today, you're producer yeah. gave me a quick fire. Dude. It is. So we got a quick fire. Can you help me? So they basically like, like give you the ingredients and tell you. Right before I walked on, I went down to the downstairs kitchen. They said, okay, you have a breakfast for dinner segment to do. You have five minutes to pull all your okay. stuff together all and right. get up for us. Okay, if go. I got Harry as my sous chef, I'm good. No problem. We're going to do a white bean waffle. Because you know what? I mean, we most of America woke up this morning and thinking, I want some waffles. A but waffle I want to make better. white beans. <laughs> they had some, Why? Some, Oh, because it's going to give a nice savory taste to it. It's a great way to take a breakfast technique because it's just really, mm -hmm. really like a pancake or a crepe. So okay. you, can, you can put the beans in the blender. All right, so these are already boiled all, down. All the, the, these are canned beans that we've rinsed out of our own chicken yeah. stock and oh, refreshed okay. them. Right. Everything liquid you can put in there and right, blend so this, it together. I'm going to assume that's a whole While you're milk. doing that, I'm going to get going on my... I'm making some little crostini of prosciutto. It's like prosciutto bacon. So I take some sliced prosciutto in a pan. Right. And we're going to turn that in to some crostini. All right. And they're oh, going to get great. crispy just uh, like this. You know this. what? I taste it because you eat prosciutto from time to time. Right, right. I've never had it kind of crispy fried like that. It really makes it great. It's super tasty. Yeah, yeah. really and it, super. And it can be done ahead of time, which is fantastic. All right. Now, for the egg on this, we're going to do some heirloom tomatoes because to we're right next to New Jersey. The best tomatoes in America, well, right? Well, and any day now, they're going to be popping out, exactly. right? Exactly. So we got the earliest what New is Jersey this? tomatoes. Is this a plunger? Is this for the... This is just to make sure over here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you know, there, okay. There, there you I'm go. I'm feeling better about it Don't now. Don't worry. Okay. okay, you ready? Watch out. All right. Three, two, two one. That ought to do it. All okay, right. you put all the lick Here, we can take your dry ingredients. Yep. You can make everything dry now, baking right. powder. Flour. Go ahead. All right. And mix all the dry ingredients right there and you stir a little, it up. Is that a little sea salt in there? Gray salt from Brittany, my favorite salt. Oh, nice. And regular salt. Oh, boy, you can smell that salt. Huh? You can smell it's it. It's fantastic. Yeah. So you take all those dry ingredients. All right. And you're going to mix those up. And I'm doing a basted egg. Right, just like your mother. Your mother used to do basted eggs. Well, just take some butter or all. No? No. You grew up outside Chicago. They didn't have basted eggs in no, Chicago. Not, no, not that's a little too fancy for All us. you do is you take the olive oil and you just baste it over the top just like that. Okay. So, so that's cook. what makes for the perfect sunny side up. It does, because you know, I don't know, I, I still break eggs. Yeah. So I don't like to break eggs at all. Even after all of those years? Of all, all these years. So you just take so the So do, does it take a kind of a constant basting like that, or can you let it sit for a couple oh, You can let it sit for a minute and then just give it a give all right, it a Since I was, I was busy over here, did you put some pepper flakes on I, it? I, I did put, you could do chili paste. I did some pepper flakes. I use some more, some more of that gray salt, a nice right. olive oil, right. and then we take some black pepper like this. Oh, so all those are right. See, hey, that is going. working. That is. Oh, they're getting hungry working. over there. Yeah. All you right. see these heirloom tomatoes? Look at this. We're gonna slice some of these up. Okay. Show the bad boy right to the camera. Look how gorgeous that look looks. Look at this. Because you can get those oh. all over. A couple of years ago, right people now. said heirloom tomatoes. You couldn't get them any place. Look at this you one. Get them, oh, look at you. Look get them everywhere Come on. now. How about that? See that tomato? Is that good? Is that a hot tomato or what? What are you going to do with those? We're going to put them right on top of our waffle. So our waffle's going to come out. You're going to take that mix that you did. I poured some right in here. Right. In advance. We're right. going to take some of these Thank tomatoes right, right on top. And you can, here, why don't you season those for me? See that salt and pepper? Yeah, I got it. Right there. You season that. Right here, we okay. got a little beautiful salt. There you go. Look at that. Look, Mom, Harry's cooking. That's it. Huh? Now, hang now, on, Now we hang just on. take this egg. Can we do it without breaking the egg? Hang on, Can everybody. Whoa! Yeah! Woo! A little bit of olive oil over that. And we take some of this prosciutto, crispy prosciutto right over the top. Ah. Huh? And that's breakfast for dinner, white bean waffle. Really good. Top really Chef good. Master style. Wow. Is that good? Huh? So when you're on a show like this, I don't have a lot of time left, but is it fun or is it just too crazy and too competitive it's for work? so intense and you got to get right up in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's as cooking as a sport, Harry. Well, you, climb, you climb up on the stove, you know, for hours at a time. It's fantastic. Wow, really good. So this one is perfect over here. Look at yeah, this. That looks it's great. just what we wow. made. Gorgeous.